All right, so calling us to order at um, 6.32. Um, <clears throat> first item of business is opening up to public comment. And I don't see any live or remote members of the public. However, is there um, any submitted nothing. letter submitted or anything? Okay. Seeing none, we've got a job on our hands to approve the minutes of December 13. That is nicely on the other side of the agenda. <laughs> um, so we can take a minute. I believe this is uh, Rachel's inaugural minute. Thank you for putting yeah. on these views. If there's anything you'd like to see done differently, let me know. I'll just take that minute. Good memory jogger. I uh, I didn't see one. Well, it looks like to me there's only the only question I have is overly confident for us. <laughs> <laughs> not, I mean, that's not what they're doing. Darn type that's what they're doing with this new uh, chat uh, AI thing. They're, they're they're saying that there's too much spelling too good for my students. <laughs> so this could be that this was she did it with that chat thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Let's have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It sounds like if Dave Sentiment holds no fixes or uh, additional amendments to the minutes, if that is the case, I'd entertain a motion of the staff. And my mouth is full. It's hard to move. <laughs> I move. Uh, Dave so moves to accept the minutes of uh, December 13. Correct. Yes. All right. Second it. And Chad seconds. Um, all those in favor of accepting the uh, December 2022 minutes. Please indicate by saying aye. 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 And Sue. Sue. Hey, timing's day. perfect. Yay. Hey, you're here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we did um, call us to order at 632. Thanks for getting here. And how the roads? Um, well, it was slippery enough to go. Yeah. Um, we just approved the December minutes. We thought we'd get there. Oh, okay. the side, They're in the right? back of the thing. Yeah. Nicely done. Minutes. Thank you. Um, that brings us to financial reports. I don't. I don't see CJ. No, and I got a text from her saying she was going to attend remotely. Okay. And I just went and grabbed my phone to see if she said anything. If she was having problems, but I haven't. Um, Gotten the help. So right. maybe she's just delayed. Jim, do you want to give us a lay of the land so, financially since uh, December? Sure. So I um there's the the new budget for 2023. And um a little bit different in terms of the reports. I pulled out the projects. So you may have seen another report mm -hmm. that was the Youth Documentary Lab and the Green Mountain Film Festival because we hold their accounts and they have, rather than have it as part of this report, our report, I separated it out. So it's a little bit easier to watch because I think our plan was the Youth Documentary Lab is netting out to zero. So, um, and then the, the Green Mountain Film Festival, I think they are ramping up. So there may be that they may pull out of our books completely if they start to take that on. Um, so outside of that, it's, you know, it does include half of February, so we're still expecting like one more payroll to hit the books. 
for February. So it's a little bit um, to keep that in mind. And I think, um, and then I also included the closeout, or not quite the closeout, but the year end budget for um, 2022. So I think we talked about it in the previous meeting, but now all the expenses have come through. And I think the accountant is waiting to do a couple of bits on his end and then he'll start the tax return. So 2022 should be like on our end, all our expenses have hit the books and should be um, pretty much done. I think he's just putting in some, uh, I think Edward Jones numbers into the report. So I think, um, the conversation, so with the budget for this year, the conversation's a little bit on the edge. I think we've got state house happening right now, so it's a little bit more, and we've been kind of monitoring it, and that's a little bit new on our end to try to look at how much, how many camera operators and trying to make sure that we don't go over the monthly budgeted amount. And so, but it is a little bit on the edge and a little bit higher than it shows against the budget, but we will, probably recoup that because as state house slows down, um, we'll see less camera operators being sent and we'll go back to mostly municipals and schools. Jim, can I sneak in a question? Sure. So there's two docs here. One's um, January 1st to February 17th. Now on this one, when it says budget, that's a monthly breakdown? That's just the two months. So that it, Okay, will, so it's a two month. And yeah. then the annual is, is the next one. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh no, so I will, if there's any questions about the reports or um, or about the previous years. Okay. I don't know if this would show up on budget, but the, it sounds like you and CJ had a conversation and let me know there's this $200,000 amount in our savings account. <clears throat> That's just kind of sitting there. Sitting there was not used to build this budget. No. So do you want to share the history of that and so, thoughts um, on it? And I think you'll see it like when we get to the code records, but when we oh. look at our checking account and our savings account, you'll see that's that 293 that um, Michael's talking about. So this would be, it's just pretty much money that wasn't spent over, I think it's been holding in there probably since COVID. So like 2020, I think we had a lot of savings because we weren't sending out camera operators. Mm -hmm. So all that extra money because the Comcast check just <laughs> came in and it gets put into the savings account. And as we use up the checking to pay, you know, cover payroll and things, um, we pull out of the savings. And so that amount had just been sitting because payroll had been lower for I think 2020, 2020 and 2021. And then even 2022, all the savings that you see in the report, the 2022 budget report, where I think we ended up like around like 75,000, you know, less than what we budgeted in expenses. So that amount just didn't get spent. And so that's living in the savings account as well. So with all the savings and tightening our belts and the savings with the rent. And so that has all just been in the savings account. And I think, I don't know if it was before, there just wasn't enough in the savings at the end of the year to move to do anything with because mm. it was pretty, I think, pretty tight. Yeah, yeah. And so, but now with all those savings, there's a fair amount that just lives there. And it's, you know, I pulled to cover payroll and stuff. But other than that, it's just, I guess, getting interest of that and whether it makes sense to move it somewhere that it could be doing more. And then I think the other question, and maybe CJ might have known this also, is, you know, I think when we were talking with the investment people, they're like, there's a certain amount that we didn't want to go over, right? It seemed like there was some talk of like having too much in the investment account makes it seem like we're something else. So that's mm -hmm. where it was like, okay, so, you know, mm -hmm. will that necessarily all the savings and right now the investment account probably doesn't look at like that because it's just been living in the savings. So that's where 
I wonder. Where I think it's a year and a half of operating. I'm sitting on much more than that. It's frowned upon. Or? Just looks like you might be more of an investment company than a public tax company. But our operating is what four and two is like would be eighteen months of operating would be like six hundred thousand for us. Is there anything legally that says you have to spend it within the thirty year term? I've always just heard it as a benchmark. I don't think like it triggers any uh ohs. Yeah, so far budget's four seventy one. Cut that in half, and yeah, it'd be like six up for seven hundred thousand dollars. We have no income. We could operate for a year and a half. So, what do you think? Um, is it going to be year marked for something and just? Well, I mean, I think left there? this this two ninety three. It's closer to three actually. Is yeah. just like right for strategic planning. Do we have a policy where savings goes Absolutely. a quarter to investment, half to underserved towns, half to project? But you know, I mean, like that. That is a a good uh, group decision. Um, but maybe we could define it percentage this way and that way. So when there's a van meeting, do all the organizations reveal to the other organizations what at least their final figures and stuff are? Yeah, I think that's it's the rule. The, you mean the, the annual report that we turn into van? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. So so how do we compare with other organizations? We're probably a uh, Average to above average. I mean, okay. it's it's. I'd say that outside of the Burlington folks, yeah, who their annual budgets are probably around seven or eight hundred yeah. thousand. You know, so but there's some that are as low as Mad River Valley is like very very low. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've looked at all of them, but I, I don't have I don't have the, the numbers. Some of the Hardwick is really low. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I'd say we're in the middle somewhere above the middle. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, there's a lot of little ones. No, oh, that's a good question. And um, yeah, it's so they have a budget mark for as a buffer, sort of. How do they well, I think it? yeah, that's a good, like their. I think what their annual revenue is kind of how they they are looked at. But uh -huh. you're right. That's a different question of like, what do they have in their savings account? Yeah. So I don't, I don't know. That's I'm sure mm -hmm. information that Van has, but I haven't seen yet. Is there anything in the bylaws that prevents organizations like ours and Vans from having endowments? Uh, that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. No one's ever asked our, that question. Our, oh, our bylaws are silent on that, which I think is means it's permitted. Yeah. Okay. I was just curious. I would assume. Mm -hmm. okay. And I don't I don't know that there's necessarily like Van has rules for how I mean every every of the 24 organizations they have their own bylaws, right? Van doesn't have any rules for engagement or you know so other they just help make sure that you're uh, abiding by the state law. Yeah. I'll ask it another way. <clears throat> Have we ever had anyone die and have them uh, donate something to uh, our agency as, as one of their things to do so. with Not their? That I know of, yeah, maybe in the history of Orca, you mean, or in the history of all of the? No, in the history of Orca. Yeah, I don't know. And Michael, do you know? Yeah, I, I haven't heard of that. Okay, yeah. I don't need to get on a tangent. I just yeah, that's a great question. Though. And I think also to like just note that. Uh, you know, asking that in the strategic planning project, like, yeah, what do we do with our savings? What do we do with our investments? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, we will be like really paper class or at some point. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm sure you can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Stack and the facilities circle probably has some ideas how we can spend yep. some money. Yeah. <laughs> well, the loan we took out to ourselves was about 60. Mm -hmm. 
And we have been getting notices from Hypercast saying, oh, it's been, you know, oh, really? you years. can start thinking about <laughs> upgrading. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it may be that I think Hypercaster is old enough that it could be like if that was something that we were like, okay, we do want to invest in a new one, that it could be an option. Well, I think that the, that committee, the smaller committee, mm -hmm. is going to work on that, I think. That would be a think, great priority. Yeah. yeah. There are a lot of questions about, what about that system. How much can it? How long is it going to be? Yeah. All that. Yeah. Well, that's actually In December, you guys presented the budget very well. Thank you. Um, CJ, the ad of the 10 grand up to 10 grand for, yeah. Um, <clears throat> did that, was that 10 grand like tuck in a bowl? So how where do you, how do you how did you uh, so I did we left you in. with a task? So where it is in our budget is I put the expense in under consultants. So you'll see in the one that's till December that it's sixteen three hundred. So that includes our strategic the strategic planning consultant and then the ten thousand for the audit. So where we just are negative, but so we're just over budget, and that may be that you know if we just want to add like movement from savings i don't know i think we could maybe do that and just say okay so we're just going to be negative because we're going to pull that from the savings account from the savings from the previous years and i don't know if so you're on 50 45 consultants mm -hmm. and are you looking at the december the one that ends in december i'm looking at Jan um, january through december versus 2023 i was thinking of yes i'm on december now And <clears throat> so that's budgeting both potential financial report. It's a little light audit, it's called financial. Called the financial I think it's the light audits, the financial review. Review, thank you. Lit. Plus strategic planning mm -hmm. sitting there. Great. All in one place, 5045. Thank you. Other questions, thoughts, or staff want to draw attention to? Is our rent under the word capital with capitals? Yes. And so for two months, we actually spent fifty four forty six. Yes. Okay. The reason I ask is I have no idea what this building is going to look like oh. and what the school next door is going to look like exactly. or whether we're going to be paying Colorado, you know, where they're yeah. outsourcing. Yeah. I, I, I like, think too many questions for you to figure out. Yeah. I think we did all sit there that to the facilities circle about yeah. location and oh, thinking true. about that. Okay. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay, so were there any questions about the budget, previous year's budget, current year's budget? Seems reasonable. If, if not, we could entertain a motion to accept the financials. Anyone interested in or people are percolating on other thoughts? Well, I'll move to accept the financials. And I'll second that. Rachel so moves and Carlos seconds approval of the financial reports on the February 21st, 2023 meeting. Here we are, all in favor. Indicate by saying aye. Aye. And right. opposed. And that's unanimous, bringing us to the co director's report. Please. This is on or it's a multi voice show? Yeah, so I think we, we have the report and we sent it out. Uh, um, you have it in front of you here. And so uh, we're just going to kind of highlight some of the exciting things from each of our, our sections, uh, if you will. So um, looking at production, as you all know, the start of the state house coverage, a very busy season for us. So um, you can see the, the year that we've been prioritizing some of the rooms with poor audio and video. We've been getting some feedback from uh, the van community. And, so from their web series. Right, yes, yes. Uh, poor audio and video from their uh, their setups, yeah. So they be in the state or? The state yeah. committee rooms, yeah. So if you don't know that each committee, each committee has a YouTube channel. And so they, 
uh, they, similarly, they have a set of like ours on the table and they are live streaming their meetings and um, yeah, so they're doing it, you and know, in-house. That process was invented during COVID yes, exactly. and they're continuing yeah. it. Yeah, so we're now we're back there kind of doing what we had done before with a little bit of what they're doing and there's a, uh, kind of in a new way with hybridization and um, yeah. but anyway, so our priority has been where their video and audio is, is poor, specifically in some of the bigger rooms like room 11, uh, room 24, the downstairs rooms. Um, yeah, we've been still showing up there with a the camera and that's been super helpful. What we've heard from the van folks, the van community that have been watching the meetings um, is that, you know, there's some problems with like the, these kind of cameras cutting to a wide shot, like you can see at the top yep. and you can't tell who's talking, who's testifying. So having a camera in the room, you know, that somebody's actually behind is still really helpful. And um, I think that's great. So um, another thing that we've been doing, Zach's been doing is kind of, uh, processing some of the feedback and actually inserting our video like a picture to picture so that you can when someone's sharing their screen that was another issue yeah. you would again default to that wide shot in that little window and then now so you're even looking at a smaller window <laughs> in a wider shot and having a harder time seeing who's talking so that was what we heard so we're kind of putting a picture of our camera like a medium shot you know our camera person on that and that's been yeah, so yeah. lots lots just unfolding in real time at the state house. Um, but, yeah, uh, in terms of prioritizing committee rooms with better audio and better video, we provide what techniques or strategies, or do we provide better equipment? What do we do to make that work better? So, how do we make it work? Yeah. Better? I think the state house has been pretty like, like closed in terms of their their tech people have done their <clears throat> rooms and they have been and I think you know for a lot of those rooms because their their video feed is adequate and you can kind of see that it oftentimes like for us to go in and try to suggest better it's I think they're not super receptive so what we said was rather than try to change them or like try to yeah. offer all these things we said well, we were trying to offer is these rooms that they didn't get to that they were like, whether it was they didn't have enough cameras, but they have some that are up in the corner. That's how we said, okay, well, that video is really hard to see. So if we offer better video than those, and that's how, like, so a lot of the rooms that have good video, we haven't been putting staff in. And that's also like just part of our staffing. We don't have enough to put everyone in there yeah, right. and all of them. And then, so with those that are just really bad, we're like, because our video is a little bit better and that you can see who's testifying that we're hoping that in that end we're not stepping on toes of the state house because I think there's been talks with the other van community about we would like this and we would like that and they're just kind of like not super receptive and at the same time it's you know they spent they had a lot of money and they spent time and did that and it's been working for people so they're like you know and it's, it's extra things to give the committee person to manage or so we've been kind of being like we don't want to suggest things because it really is that committee assistant that would have to do it. They have to manage their own. And then if we're like also, oh, here's some extra microphones. So we're like, okay, we'll just kind of let them do theirs and we'll just do the ones that we can offer better video for. And so I think on that end and same with like the, I think public hearings, we've since historically we've always done public hearings and live. So we are continuing on that with that tradition. And I think, um, there's some policy briefings that, so whenever they want us, we were like, we're here, we can help you and we want to help you and do whatever you need. But at the same time, we're not like, oh, you should need to do this over here kind of thing, so. So if I'm a Senator and I'm chairing a committee um, and I want to see what happened in the meeting that I chaired, mm -hmm. I look and see what there is. And, and it's better because we, we, we filmed it or do they, do they see it in, in, in a different way so, than our yeah. filming of it? Chances are, because they still, like those rooms that we're in, they still do their YouTube video. So they can, like, I would imagine if you were a Senator and the, the Senate ed is one of the ones with the corner window or the corner. And so if you were looking at it to see, you would just probably go to your own, but we're hoping that there's another option and whether we can get the state has to say, oh, here's other alternative video. It may be that we just with our word of, okay, these, you know, if you're interested in the Senate ed, 
for the most, as much as we can send our people in there. You know, you can also watch the footage here. And so it's, yeah. I think it's one of those where it's, it's hard to try to get our, our video out there and we just rely on Christopher and his social media or like the people that is like referring to it of, oh, you know, if you want to see it. So, yeah. <clears throat> And talking about social media and all that, is there a way to flag it? So is it, if you want to watch it in better resolution and better audio, go here. We've thought about that and, and discussed that. And, or yeah, or even, and I even kind of had a brief conversation with the sergeant at yeah. arms, like maybe they could include it on their website. Yeah, that'd be, that's really not an option. Loop. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, it is a closed loop. Yeah, they, I mean, to the extent that like Vermont public has been trying to have this conversation with them for the last two years yeah. and they're not really entertaining Vermont public. So it's like, they're us coming be, in. They're gonna be nice to yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Us nice coming in. It's kind of like, well, anybody can come film the meeting, so <clears> it's <throat> on you from there. So yeah. you know, it, it is a matter of getting it out there. Um, I think that within the the public access world in the VMX exchange that we have, like we are known for, you know, yeah. everyone is grabbing our state house coverage, and so it's being shared statewide, yeah. which is great. So it's playing on all the channels. It's playing on the statewide channel. Um, yeah, and 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 it is apparently being used by the uh the lobbyists that we that we've been talked to too so that's great you know um, how, um, how about within the city's website the well, well within website? the city they do in, in link back to us so the city is definitely yeah. more receptive than the, the state well, i'm saying a lot of people go to their website traffic to do yeah and that, that does work so well yeah can you post can you have it there and yeah they, so in the agenda yeah. um i believe it says that you can in the city warnings, like the DRB warnings, it says this this meeting will also be on Arca Media. And they also say that. Yeah, they, and they, they, they say talk it about it. Yeah, show so. on a big screen. But whether we can that. bounce people that go to the city website to of course state house stuff, oh, it's right. like, right. I, was like I don't know that they do a lot of state house well, coverage yeah, on there. At that they was, can, I'm so it may be. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm thinking of something not nearly as self promoting as trying to advertise it. I'm thinking of possibly printing out every uh, month a list of all the meetings that we've covered and then make a copy of that and send it to some of the chairs of the committees so that they know that some of these things are only covered in-house or by sure, yeah. one other van, but yeah. these are the ones that we've covered. Sort of like a little asterisk on some yeah. of the meetings. You know, and maybe at some point, <clears throat> Right, and at some point, right, like Marsha Manuhan talked about, the medium is the message, the way that something is presented is more important than what's said. Yeah, that's I, I don't know. That's you know I, I watch a meeting that's kind of um, blurry and the audio is not audible enough. Right, and right, right, you, right, you, yeah. you know, you're less engaged, right? So yeah, I agree. Yeah. There's something to be said about that. Yeah. But, it's, um, so, that's true. I think right. in the past, like the committees, that we chose to cover were based sort of like on content, like what are the hot issues covered. Yeah. But this year, it's more like less so, what yeah. room is it in? And yeah. Is it a crappy video yeah. room? And that's the one. We're well, and that's that's where really they were, regardless of if it's like wow content. And yeah, because we've been able to leverage our skills. Yeah, and we do still do a little bit of that curating. So when it seems like you know, because we are still like within like still within our staff capacity of how many people. So we do still. Like if it seems like it's a little bit, maybe not as much fun, then we may like if we had something else in this room better. Higher then interest. yeah, yes. and so but mm -hmm. we do say okay, let's look at the agenda for the Senate Ed and see if all that stuff. And then if there's anything happening, I think we're also doing like the energy and environment. If there's something interesting going on there, and so it's like okay, so I think we have moved a little bit less to the curating, but there is still some just because okay. we just don't have. So the room isn't the controlling variable, it's but it has first, come into the mix. It's, the, it's like the very top priority, I guess, like okay. pushing it. And then sometimes when it's um, if it's like maybe about a tap, the Chittenden something, we're like, oh well, this seems a little mm -hmm. bit more interesting in energy. Got so it. if I, as a citizen, wanted to look up and find out what was discussed in a certain committee meeting, what is the, the apparatus that exists now? I would go to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Is it being archived somewhere? So, in some sort of through the state? or how Yes, would I, I think the this? state has decided to keep the their YouTube links up or their live stream. So they're not taking anything down. So I think yeah. probably... Hmm. That was an issue that they yeah. were, they they weren't, it wasn't official it. until recently. Now it sounds like they're, they've, there's been pushback and they are leaving it and on every their... Every house and every Senate committee has their own YouTube, YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So to like so find it's it, like impossible you, to find. So how did you find out about this? To be an insider, kind of. Well, yeah. that it was just I, I forget exactly, but it, it was a question of like what is the official record, and the official record is still the minutes and then the audio recording and not yeah. the video. That's so cool. that's that's why they were like, we can delete our video if we want to. I mean, but that's-, that's But not was this of... issue internal to the state house or was it like- Yeah, I, this was last year. So I don't remember exactly, but it was a, it was a problem. Yeah. 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 So if, if tomorrow the senators aren't gonna all get there because it's a snowy day. Sure. Uh, and I want, I'm one of the ones that's not there. Will I be, is it within the ground rules to have to zoom me in to the committee? Oh yeah, they yeah, they've been doing that. Yeah, okay. so that's still it, they're essentially they're they're hybrid <clears throat> meetings, so they're all Zoom and they're live, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I just was trying so, to figure out what the product. I, I, yeah, I think my question is, who raised the flag about they wanted those archives? They wanted to, who were the people? Probably Steve Whitaker. Sir I Whitaker. Mean, yeah, I mean, honestly. <laughs> okay, I mean, so that's yeah. me. And my question is, <laughs> about yeah, yeah, so. no, I mean, but but some of his concerns are about. Somebody's you know, concerned about that. Have, so. We had that same archive. Yeah. We had that archive. Yeah. I'm sure the Vermont yeah. State Archives and Records Administration is aware and involved. I, yeah. I used to work there, and I, I we right. had yeah. a regular presence yeah. at the State House as well. So, yeah. so I'm sure that, uh, and the, the State Archives and Records Administration maintains the. The, the digital preservation system for the state. And uh, while I was there, it was always just the audio yeah. that was coming in and being preserved in that system. I, I haven't heard what's it's, been going on, but I'm sure they're involved. The audio was very bad at some point. It's sometimes I went it's really I, bad. I went yeah. some, and it would skip. It was mm -hmm. just very poorly done. And you had to request the CD. Sorry. Yeah, the yeah. CD or the cassette bad. tapes. Yeah, yeah we close. had we yeah. had cassette tapes um, as well as CDs, yeah. as well as the digital. And, and you know, it's it, it, exactly like with the video, you, they, there'd be a mic in like one corner of the room. So if it, and people wouldn't always explain who was speaking you wouldn't be so it is the audio is what it is it's yeah. it's not great so yeah well and i think that that kind of circles back to like this you know understanding of like public benefit and the, the appropriations that we're asking for as a community media community is that like we do know what we're doing so it's like we're asking them to use us and to use our skills and to use our resources and because yeah. yeah their stuff is not always and, and vermont public is saying the same thing and i think that that's where LG has done a really good job in, in Burlington teaming up with Eric Ford at Vermont Public and saying, trying to have that conversation. Um, but it's it's slow, but I think it's happening. I think, yeah. So I think um, in terms of how do you find it, like, I think if you go, like, just like we, when we look at the agendas, like if you go to the Vermont legislative website, it's pretty, like, if you're interested in a particular committee, it's yeah. the links are there, like, and so it's pretty easy mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. Yeah, and even if they have a joint meeting, like if they know it's going to be on someone else's right. committee's website, so the links yeah. are there. So they've been pretty good about trying to have it easy, but it is like you go into that, you can spend hours in there and like you can look up witnesses <laughs> and topics and the see. The website's pretty good. Yeah. And yeah. so yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. that's nice. where. They just don't include us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, and yeah. And then the footage is going, it goes back to YouTube or somewhere does it go to? Where can people view it? What's the platform? our footage? No, yeah. they're, they're it's, just on it's yeah on their just YouTube. It, yeah, it, their YouTube. Their the committee rooms YouTube. So okay. each committee room has it, and there's like their a link YouTube. that says you know here's the live stream link, and you just go there. So I think um, in terms of our stuff, I think you know the more we do with like to get people to our website, like it's the age old don't like desire to get people to our website and they'll see like our our state house coverage and be yeah. like oh okay let's click and then like hopefully the more we get them to hear and as well as like you know word of mouth that we yeah. have these coverage and you can watch it and it's better footage that hopefully it will get more people like coming to us to say oh you know what did they do in their state house and do, do you find that your web that our website is easier to kind of find those committee meetings versus the state houses uh, yes or no, right? That that's a it really depends like who you are and what you're looking for. I think Jin's right, like it's our website is is everything that we do. So mm -hmm. it's like, you yeah. know, if you're going to I mean it's really easy to search on our website, but yet their website is Just it's like them. yeah, you go to you go exactly kind of you know what you're looking for, maybe. But or, I don't know. I mean maybe our website you, you 
you mix it up a little bit. I was going <laughs> to say, I think our website maybe is for like the casual viewer that's like, ooh, they're talking about the sheriff stuff. I just saw it on the news or this, that, and the other. And they're like, you might click on it. But if you're a devoted like lobbyist, you're going to the the, the legislative site and you're because you like, want it from the source. Yeah, right? and you're and so that's where it's like you know we're mm -hmm. kind of like 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 clips and stuff rather than like you're not you know we've tried to stay within a, you know we're looking at we've been looking at law enforcement so we've been kind of following that so you could see previous years and even back when so if you were like oh I'm interested in law enforcement and what and then you could kind of see a little bit of the tail like through the years that maybe you wouldn't get on the legislative but so it's you know it's we're hoping that it's not everything that the state house is doing but hopefully enough people will get mm -hmm. to our website and see stuff and be interested to continue what was the technological glitch in the mayoral uh, debate <clears throat> we lost what 12 minutes we did, yeah, but but the I just was curious because yeah, I didn't know just in the, the initial live stream. Yeah, that was the switcher just went black. But they didn't lose it. It was oh, I mean, they recorded it. Yeah, yeah, so they, they buy the product. product. This, this stuff's not lost. It's no, just was no. there. It was just get it there. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, just okay, a, I just was curious. Yeah, we were scrambling and trying to. <clears> yeah, so we. That was a, yeah. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah, on Thursday. Yeah, so. My final question in terms of this topic is, <laughs> right, the final question is, in terms of those capturing those committee meetings, do you title it exactly the same the State House title, titles it? Yes. yes. So sometimes we have to abbreviate it a little bit. Okay. And so like on our title card, we tried to have it exactly the way it's uh -huh. listed on the meeting notes. Mm -hmm. So that if someone's like, oh, I'm looking, you know, they looked at the video and they're like, oh, rules and responsibilities of Vermont sheriffs. Yeah. They could take that phrase, go to the legislative, and they could find it, yeah, right. and it would match exactly with that meeting note of that particular day. So if somebody did a Google search for that committee, like that meeting, we would appear there also? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Right next to the state house. And the, dates, the date is the, the same, the date okay. of the meeting, even yeah. if we publish it two days later, yeah. One last question on the production aspect. <laughs> yeah, forward. well, it's exciting. This is all happening right now. Uh, yeah. uh, one, we cover something yeah. like the Montreal, Montpelier Country Club Road Community Engagement Meeting. Are there people that want to say their peace of mind, but don't want to have it covered? I mean, there's a lot of argument about the country club road. Problem. Yeah, I mean, that's I think that's the case of most public meetings. And I, one of the nice things about participating in Zoom is you could you could turn off your video and you could still say what you want to say and you could even chat, you know, and not even speak. So I was thinking more of the public. The public, oh, yeah, I mean, I so the yeah, recently yeah. with the country club. So mm -hmm. it was like the state or not the city sponsored one. So and I think we've done it also like when we're at the Kellogg Hubbard or something, if they know that we're there recording. So we've oftentimes said, this is like a no splash zone. So we've done that in the past at different or like presentations where we're like, if you don't want to be on camera, head over here, because yeah. you're not going to be caught when if they're going to do some sort of painting. Usually, so, usually if someone doesn't want to be on camera, they'll tell you. I was more, <laughs> I was thinking of more of someone who actually has a conflict of interest, but doesn't <clears throat> want made known. They're sure. trying to give an impartial uh, uh, community reaction. But basically, they're on the side of either buying or not buying the property. Yeah. And so the recording might be one that they don't want to have their voice or face in. That's all. I was just knowing that kind of thing can happen. I mean, we know the Supreme Court don't disclose when they have a conflict of interest. So I think that we've tried to be, like, if anyone is hesitant and they see us, if they're like, we don't want to be on camera, then we do try to, like, let them know okay. this is where you should sit. And if you want to just, so I think that we do try to be, but at the same time, you know, we're like, this is well, thank you. being recorded to be yeah, aired yeah. and on YouTube. When we, when we uh, broadcast and live stream one of these things, is it also being uh, live streamed on this something like... Um, Instagram and Facebook, because I know I, whenever I'm on Facebook, I'm seeing things popping up from town meeting TVs. Uh, yeah, they do a good job with that. We don't do that. We could think about that. Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea. You just reminding people, hey, we're doing this, we're doing this, and so yeah. then someone's like, oh yeah, yeah. what I want to catch that. And yeah, be more likely to come to. 
Have we done that in the past live streams for Facebook? I, I know I that you can. Have, there's software that does that where you just yeah. basically stream to YouTube, to your site. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think that'd be a great idea because it's like you might catch somebody that only uses Facebook. And, yeah, exactly. So, okay, um, thank you. Yeah. So I, I'm just going to jump over to our um, outreach section, and um, so just mention that. Yeah, one exciting thing from here is that we had an article featured in the Times Argus covering our new co-director model, and if anyone caught yeah. that. Um, I, I, I clipped it. Yeah, all right, cool. I cool. So, it tonight, but I think I forgot Zach, to do it. Zach was nice uh, picture of my parents color. Color. saved. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice, yeah, it was a nice story. And it was just good, too. It's kind of like, um, I think one of the things that kind of came out of that is a little bit more ongoing uh, things with the Times Argus. So Steve, the editor, Steve Pampas, um, has been, you know, uh, put, or, or coordinating these two forums. So the, the mayoral forum that just happened last week, and then this week is the uh, city council forum for Montpelier. So that's exciting. Those are all live, uh, and Steve is moderating that. So, and he's sharing it on his end too. So that's good. Um, yeah, then... <laughs> Moving over to the strategic plan, which we're going to dive a little bit more into in the, in the next agenda item, but um, I'll just say that we did uh, have three robust meetings with our consultant, Nathan Cedar, and um, we drafted some preliminary thoughts on our mission, vision, values, goals, and objectives, and just kind of wrapping our head around that, I think putting some language down, and Pretty much everyone has heard that in the circles meetings yeah. that we that we jumped off of. Uh, I guess that was in the I mentioned that in the other session. Oh no, circles have been initiated and conversations are developing. So yeah, that is that's what's happening, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Um, with staff, you know, we're still looking for camera operators, uh, mm -hmm. and so if you know anybody send them our way. Um, we're going to have a camera operator meeting in March. So that's exciting. Um, finances, you want to speak to that at all? Or? Um, so I think one bit of the, the Comcast check came in that closed out the 2022. So it was lower than the previous one, which was lower than the previous one. So mm -hmm. it's, I think, when Rob was here, there was kind of like it would go up and down. But we're, now we're kind of seeing that trend of it going down. Um, so the new budget was made based on that lower check that we had gotten so we're going to be like in terms of our revenue for the next few months will be under budgeted amount because that check is going to be lower so yeah. that's the only bit that's a little bit concerning so it could be that i think when we made the budget we did some capital gains to kind of like catch up the difference but so that may need to go up if those the comcast checks continue to go down we're hoping that it'll plateau but so that's could we have our camera operators that wanted to take an intern with them when they go to cover something and teach the, the intern how to do the whole camera coverage? Sure, yeah. Because I think that might help someone who didn't dare apply for a job as a camera operator. Yeah, yeah. I think that yeah, we're willing to train people, and I think that's a, a, a nice way to get people in too. Um, for shadowing people. Yeah, yeah shadow. that's kind of how. Yeah. We train people. Out. I think some with like some interns, they like they're like not supposed to leave the premises or something. Yeah, and maybe it depends on the program. The, yeah, there, it depends on the program. But then some they have like they're kind of working on their own Could project. We get one of the pages to go with our camera operator uh, at the state house if they had a few minutes, to, you know, to, to go to a meeting and just. Watch yeah, I mean, that might be, a, maybe it might conflict with the, the I think that they are, they're, they're on someone else's clock learn. at that point. Yeah, that anyway. might be they have a exploiting job. their labor. And, yeah. they're, <laughs> and they're, they're eighth graders as well. You know, they're not they're likely young. to. Okay, I was just trying to. Yeah. <laughs> where, where we hatch new camera operators. Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. get ICC'd you on, uh, or the guy who emailed me? Who is new to town and looking for like? Uh, oh right, so, yeah. I think I was. I totally forgot about that. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we're I'm supposed to talk with him also. Um, okay, and he was looking for work. Yeah, yeah. New to Montpelier, recent grad. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, 
you can have them if you encounter anyone jobs at orchidmedia.net just tell them shoot us an email jobs at orchidmedia.net so what's the best if i hear some something like this to cc because I, I think i only had christopher in there uh, so the jobs i think automatically send something to christopher it's yeah a re it does a redirect as well or so, you, could, you could send it to production at orchidmedia then all three of us will see it that's i think that's yeah i mean, I mean but if you send it to me you should, yeah i think i was just I was off that day or something. I read it later. Do we go to occasional job fairs? There's a big one coming up pretty soon. Really? Uh, the it Career is. Center? Or? Burlington. The Burlington one is huge. Hmm. It seems like a good place for us to have somebody there. there. There's like two big fairs coming up pretty soon, but the Burlington one is a central big. Vermont one coming up. Yeah, that, is, that, those two, yeah that, one. that might be a place, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, and I think, you know, one of the things I've done in the past is just reach out to like the, to, I need to do it again to the Central Vermont Career Center and to the, yeah. yeah well, they, those kids don't have vehicles. Yeah. Like a lot of them, a lot of them are from, there's some who are from Montpelier, but a lot of them are from Barry and they just don't have vehicles. I, mean, I have students. I know. I was going to say, we do have three yeah. out of yeah. our little pool. So far, That's yeah. a pretty thing. Yeah. You, you, have, have have student, you have students. Yeah. Just, I have students that I could send in a heartbeat. Yeah. You just, just probably sent us the most people. Yeah. I think and then we also have U32 student. Tagger, yeah. Student, so. yeah. And I have other students that are great, but they just don't have vehicles. Mm -hmm. Like really good. Um, yeah. I mean, and also, Who's in charge of the outreach program in the high school? I forgot his name. Um, McLean. McLean. Yeah. McLean. Yeah. Ha, ha, does he not bring? Is he not trying to connect students with businesses outside? Um. He was so to do that for a while, right? Yeah, I think they do that. Yeah, they do yeah, a good job. I've, I worked with Michael yeah. and Heather, who's also Heather and McLean, but they're not related, and they both mm -hmm. at the high school and they do the CBL program. Yeah. And so yeah, we have. They're they're in their new semester, so you know. They might, Heather reached out to me and we talked about um, students might be coming in here as mentorship. So, I mean, that's another pathway too. It's like, maybe they come in here from the high school to do a project and then if we tell them, hey, we're always hiring part-time camera operators. I know that three or four of the kids last summer, but they were all 14 and 15, wanted to work for us and they were really excited, but- we... The other thing that we have is there's, a lot of these high schools have a, in order for students to graduate, they have to have community service. Oh, right, right. And look at media, that could be community service only mm -hmm. instead of working in a kitchen somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's a good pitch. So maybe you might want to pitch that to whoever runs that program. Because yeah. every high school has somebody who runs that program. Yeah. And I know Barry has, Barry has, Baldy has that community service. It's like 30 hours. I think Montpelier does also. Oh, that's cool. Maybe yeah. 30, so that's 30 hours. Per student. And the school pays for that? Yeah, it's the, I mean, no, the students are, they, it's on their own. They have to find that in order to graduate. It's kind of like a credit. Oh, so they just, it's like a, they have to have some job. They experience. have to find a like, community service job, not pay, like a community service job in which oh, okay. they're giving back to the community and 30 hours. And then the, you have to, the administrators have to sign off on, on oh, that's that. That's cool. Yeah. So maybe pitching that to the high schools. Yeah. As you listen, or can be a place for community service for a lot of these students, and they're going to learn a craft, and they're going to learn many other things, and then when they're done with that, they could also start earning money. Yeah. Yeah. Good pitch. Yeah. Good pitch. I like that idea. So, you see the picture in the paper of um, the new Glean van? Uh, no. It was in the newspaper. They have a brand new van. van with a beautiful painting uh, for you know, the work that they do gleaning. Is that what the feast is locally? Yeah. Central Vermont Community Service. Oh, right. Okay, cool. So I'm just, I've always thought we should have a van. With I think we should have a van. So I know. Saying, well, there's the $200,000 right there. We <laughs> no, can get a, might, a might brand new transit. I want to talk to the green people and ask whether they, they may have gotten help from Help <laughs> yeah. Bolster, whatever his name is. Well, we could start slapping one. vinyl uh, sides to the, you know, maybe that we just wrapped. Yeah, wrapped, vinyl wraps on cars or something. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. But no, that's, that's, that's great to be, just be out there. Um, yeah. So uh, just, I think, do you want to say anything else on finance? No, I think that was it. 
Do you want to roll right in a strategic plan? Yeah, let's state? do it. I was just going to quickly mention the statewide. We did receive that $25,000 check we were waiting for. There's a typo there, sorry. And then there's another typo on the poll tax. I put the wrong poll. So <laughs> that was just trying to keep you guys okay. focused. So that was oh, the poll tax that I mentioned. That was just information. Yeah, there'll be a lot more information <laughs> coming out on that. So um, let's see. So moving on, if we are ready. I'm uh, just real quick. The, the van is asking for a million dollars. Correct. For a one time appropriation of a million dollars for 2024. And is that <laughs> how delegated size? I think it'll be split across the board just like the last, last Yeah, time. I think okay. that, that they did a bunch of math and they kept coming back to that okay. metric. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Do we do a formal uh, vote accepting the director's report? We did that. Um, time. we certainly could unless strategic planning is within that would be it's a separate agenda item. Yeah, so. okay. Yeah, so um separate. does anyone want to move to accept the co-directors report? Thank you, Ray. Oh, I'll move to <laughs> accept it. I'll second it. And we have a second from Dave. And all those in favor of accepting the uh, co-directors report, please indicate by saying aye. 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 And opposed. Is it core directors or is it tri directors? I'm saying co, <laughs> and uh, that was unanimous. Uh, um, it's at seven twenty-three on the time check, bringing us to um, yeah, update on strategic planning. I think every circle is up and running. That's right. Yeah. Um, so, as you all know, except for Sue, because you you didn't participate in our circles. Mm. Um, I'm sorry. And so our, we basically, we, we ran over, ran over, we ran through some of the language that we were developing and kind of gave you guys mm -hmm. some of the, I guess, conceptual uh, things that we were, you know, really landing on with the strategic planning project. And um, so I have a few like to do's here for you all. And then <laughs> So maybe we'll do the kind of logistical stuff first and then we'll do the maybe exciting uh, creative stuff. Okay, so we need to confirm the date and you may remember from December that um, part of the process is that the board, uh, the, Nathan would like to have a retreat with the board as the next step and we had planned for, I'll just throw that out there again. Here we are, um, March 28th and March, 30th are open. So um, now the option was to have either two one and a half hour meetings, which is, I believe, what we all said in December that that sounded more attractive than one three hour meeting. No. Okay. So there's a few kind of menu of choices after that is that maybe we do a, uh, a, an hour and a half on the 28th of March. And then in April for our board meeting, we can add another hour and a half as a retreat or do that. We were kind of just throwing out ideas okay. internally. And so that we weren't sure about time commitments. So if you were trying to do the one and a half hours because you didn't have the three hours to really kind of commit in a month, we're saying, okay, so if we did one and a half hours in the middle, like um, this between month, and then maybe figure out, like do the other hour and a half that instead of the meeting or part of the meeting or do like a truncated, board meeting that goes through and then say, okay, this is the rest of the strategic plan. So, or if the three hour commitment's fine, but you just didn't want to do it in one fell swoop because it's a lot of time, then we could just do two dates in March. So we're, we weren't sure exactly where people felt about that time commitment. If, um, if it was better to split it up across months so that you could cogitate and ponder and things like that. Or if it was, you know, between just two dates within March would be okay. And these um, available dates are based on Nathan's availability. Yes, but you know, if for some reason the majority of you can't do that. What were the dates? So the, 328 or 330. Yeah. And or, I think so Tuesday and Thursday. I was gonna say we try to pull it because it's similar to like if we were having a board meeting. So around that fourth. Like, yeah. So we tried to do it the same week that normally we would do a board meeting. 
those are two options for a one. And, if we want to do one and a half and one and a half in the same month, though, we, that would be the they'd be right next two. to each other. Yeah, they'd be the twenty eighth and thirtieth. I mean, it would see. It seems like it would like I don't know how much cogitating needs to happen between the uh, things. I feel like we would probably break our rhythm up, and we would spend half of the second one that trying to remember what the heck we were talking about. I think that's what Nathan was saying. That you know, if you want to split it up, it might be better to just do Tuesday and Thursday. What's the agenda on it? So I think that that you want, we do have some items, but it, it's really like, well, yeah. What's the idea? Like, yeah. Generally? So I think um, based on Nathan's scope, what we're hoping to achieve at this retreat would be we would go over goals and objectives and maybe look at accountability or programming things that would feed into the goals and objectives so that we could come up with the. I think we're hoping to come up with a plan. And at some point also, it would be, I think we were hoping to do a community needs assessment. So that would also be maybe some questions that we're trying to find out about from the community that we could come up with. So I think mainly though, it is to flesh out the goals and goals and outcomes we're looking to try to achieve. And I think because we did a lot of the work hopefully within our circles and now so that we don't, we could come to an agreement about the mission and where we stand on vision and values and whether we feel like we need a vision or if we need a, if we wanted to do a public facing value set or if we wanted to have the values as something just internal and determining how we choose our goals and objectives. So I think that that retreat, if we don't come to an agreement about vision, mission and values here, that'd be something that we would work on within that retreat is if you know there needed to be more right so i guess that kind of creative ask of us now right now is that we we threw up the new mission statement on the board here yeah. and this is what we've kind of distilled it down to so we thought that we could get solidarity around this new mission statement and kind of uh then what we heard from our circles just to reiterate what jen is saying is that the vision was less important and we were kind of and you know if the end of goal of, of our strategic plan is to have some solid goals and objectives that are like informed by values right whether those values are public facing or just internally for how we organize ourselves right mm -hmm. um that's kind of what's going to come out of the retreat some most of that language has been developed by the three of us and with nathan and so i think what we're asking of you guys in march is to kind of contribute some ideas to kind of tear it apart a little bit and then to hopefully land on something. Um, but right now, you know, we can kind of look at this again, which is what you heard in the circles. And we can say, okay, this is cool. We're, we're happy with this. And then we don't have to spend time on the mission statement in the retreat. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we can focus on the goals and objectives, which I think are going to be a little bit more detail oriented obviously and, yeah. and and a little bit value packed whether we have mm -hmm. yeah yeah anyway so but maybe first we want to land on the date or i don't know if, it, if it's helpful to like take the date with you and respond we i could send you an email tomorrow or something and we could all confirm. i can tell you that i can do any of them right now and, and i'd prefer to book it sooner rather than later right. so it's on the calendar and i don't yeah. put anything else there um my personal preference is for more shorter meetings just because I hit a point where I don't <laughs> contribute after uh, 90 minutes. But if we did do one longer meeting, um, I would ask that we start a little earlier than our traditional board meetings so that we were a little bit fresher. And yeah, I'd say even if we do break it up, I'd love to yeah. be earlier. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. So I would, the Tuesday, I would say. The 28th? And so an earlier meeting on Tuesday, the 28th, yeah. with the intent of doing it all in one long I meeting. Four to seven. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely long. do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. I'm going to put it in. <laughs> yep. So four to seven on maybe the 28th. Is four too early? With four. enough notice, I can be here at four. Four, four to, could be, yeah. Push 3.30, 6.30. Could be 4.30 to 7.30 too. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it. But I really, I do like the idea of starting earlier. I think we'll be in a better mind. It's a mindset. lock and it was easy. The 28th, four to seven. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's in. You don't want to send an email tomorrow, Chris, and pull us on? 
I'll send an email confirming so that you could. Yeah. All right, 28th at the four. So it's I'm labeling, labeling it Orca Strategic Retreat. We're going to lock down three whole hours. Yeah, and maybe we'll finish early. I think it's like, you know, we had a three hour meeting plan for the Green Mountain Film Festival and we went two and a half hours. So Man, it'll it. be 65 degrees and it'll be up. So oh. Yeah, there you go. Wow. <laughs> oh, that would be nice. Happy <laughs> night. So you're thinking like what we're talking about is that the mission statement has a kind of a guiding light for for creating the goals and moving forward, right? As a exactly. Yes. So I think the mission we agreed of is so say we say we did have a vision yeah. and values. So you know, in the the oh, yeah. the drawing, right? The vision is the the worldview, you know, how do you see the world? The mission is what you're actually doing to kind of contribute to that worldview. Yeah. And then values, you know, are, I think are part and parcel of the vision, but values to me are like really like bullet points that you can translate yeah. to, okay, now, now you have the goals yeah, and objectives yeah, yeah. or what somebody is actually looking at, the grantor, yeah. the public, and they're saying, oh, the goal is to have more young people yeah. involved. The objective is to pay them yeah. in this way and that way, or to reach out to the schools. And that's because the value was that, you know, we value our local youth and we want them maybe that's a poor example but like you know the value yeah, might yeah. be that we want to increase diversity so diversity of age diversity of who's coming in here right increase our reach so does that make sense so this i think is the simplest thing to just wrap our heads around right now because it's like this is almost just like a uh the espresso version of what we already had right so it's like we had we had a kind of a a, a complicated one that was like three run on sentences and now we're the thing that I think we we agreed upon was that we're really facilitating engagement in community and government by doing what by providing video production training and distribution services which is what all of the the peg tv organizations are saying I think the uh, key word and might be the most difficult word is the word communities <clears throat> right because there are local communities there are LGBTQ communities. There are migrant work justice communities. They all call themselves communities. That's why we're yeah. saying that. Yeah, so it just exactly seems to why, me yeah. that it winds up, up facing the issue of what communities are we going to prioritize and what are sure. the other ones? I think that's we can't do it with exactly map right. and geography. We need to do it with the rationale that the already exists in the. Uh, when the ones that are out there calling themselves communities. Sure, and exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I think that <clears throat> like leaving it broad in the mission when we do our goals and objectives, and that's where the values might kick in of determining like what's our priority or how are we determining the goal mm -hmm. and what type of outcome are we looking at? And that's where those values will be. I think Michael said it in our meeting, that internal rudder of how, you know, mm -hmm. how do we determine which goals, like maybe we're looking at underserved communities and that's going to be this mm -hmm. focus for the strategic plan is reaching out to those underserved communities and having them use us and so that's where yeah. that because our value is toward equity and inclusion so that's how we yeah. have chosen this goal yeah my only comment with that and I, is that for me i felt like there were some things there that were um too too wide for interpretation um, like you know, um, providing free video. What does that? I mean, what does that mean? Um, distribution services is many things. Is are you going to deliver DVDs to places? Like, do you, it has to be unpacked yeah. a little bit. No. Huh? <laughs> well, you know, we used to. I know, I know. I know. but you know, but is is that you know? Yeah, I, I, I felt it was yeah. too. That was too distribution services. It has to be unpacked so it's clear exactly what you mean by it, or define it, or at least define it, and then. Providing free video to whom? Oh. What type of free video? I mean, oh, I agree. Yeah, I think that that's that's been the issue of where we, even the three of us have been like, well, how do we say that in the clearest way? And yeah. that's yeah. So grammatically, we can kind of change this around yeah. too. Well, I, I would say that. Um, so I just did this with the uh, Waterbury Public Library, and we ended up boiling it down to a very brief, broad mission statement, mm -hmm. um, which didn't get it all into, I would say, um, the specifics like providing free video production. Yes. So so our, my version would be something like Orca Media facilitates engagement in local communities and government 
period. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, wow. And then it's in everything yeah. else. It's in the strategic plan. It's in the yeah. that correct. you that you really define it. So that yeah, correct. Yeah. But I but I'm I'm comfortable with this. And if and if you this is a different kind of organization. So if you feel like you need yeah. to like make it clear that it's video production that you're talking about, I can live yeah. with that. But I, but that's that would be. No, I'm happy state. you said that because I feel like I could go both ways. I feel yeah. like it. Yeah, I agree with. I agree. Yeah, with because what what if it's not video? One day we're providing hologram services. Or That's something, exactly you know, like, it. Yeah, yeah. when we know. revisited the Waterbury Public Library, like the old like long wordy mission statement, it was talking about like books on CD and all this stuff, oh, and it was like, yeah. oops, you know, the, the, that's really not relevant. But the high level stuff. That's always going to be, you're always going to facilitate yeah. engagement in local communities and government. So yeah. from now on, every video, everything you produce is going to be free. No, but that's not, I was going to say, <laughs> okay. so, I mean, we do have I'm, some free services, but we're not saying everything. And I don't think the mission statement says yeah. that we're going to, that everything that we're offering is going to be free, but, but we do have free. When I, mean, is, <laughs> I see there's everything's free. free. Well, yeah. if, to a degree, everything is free. I would say that it's very, yeah. very few people that are yeah. engaging with our services and resources that are paying for anything yeah. and if they are it's like a, a donation. donation yeah so i think yeah. i think i would live in it like okay. Okay. In that, but those things can be defined that could be like behind the scenes defined uh, that, but it needs to be defined much better yeah, does it need to be clear so does anybody feel like the word media needs to be in there at all i, I mean like i was thinking if, if we have like thoughts of a radio station on the books that just and government through media production, training, and distribution. So maybe removing video free and, and free. Yeah, and distribution of services does sound like it could be very robust. Oh, that's But huge. just saying distribution is, might solve it because you're now, you're it's not defining it as like an unoffered way. service to the world. Um, See, I think the reason we landed on free is because that differentiates us from like a production company, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Where yeah. the production company, there's an ass assumed charge because they need to make In the money, video, right? yeah. when we said media covers so much, could be website, could be print media, could be you know, yeah. so we many newsletters. Yeah. We have a website, we might have a radio station. Mm -hmm. Video is very, you know, specific. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's an option, and, I, and I'm and i glad you, you guys are throwing that out there. And another thing that, you know, I hear from the band folks is that they're just saying media resource and services. You know, they're, that's, that's the community media center provides a resource and a service. So the, the resource would be production and, and yeah. the service would be distribution and training, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm glad that you said the community uh, media center thing because I have like a, a greater philosophical sort of quandary about like I I hear that a lot of the van language and and you hear we're pivoting away from being access to media community media and I feel like it's said a lot but I'm not sure exactly what how it's it's translating into action and that's the thing that my biggest concern yeah. with the with the statement is I think that we need to view it through that lens and like what exactly do we mean by community media center and what does that then translate in into it, our mission statement or whatever this is Absolutely. because because it's well, we have to start disentangling at least in people's minds the 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 sense of the community access, I think, to in, for long term, especially hearing the financial um, stuff earlier from Jen, it's like we need to start getting. Yeah, all and when you say that, it's like I, and, I do and like parts of it uh, outside of the free stuff too. You know, parts of there's going to have to be revenue generation somehow from some other areas. You know, it's in something yeah. Yeah. community media is going to be where I think where that. That I mean, it would be a, we'd say community twice, but I, I have thought about like saying, you know, community media center in this. So you could say like Orca Media is a community media center that facilitates, you know, then it, you're, then you're defining what it is and what you do. That's a, that's very place specific and we're covering a region. So I'm a little, a little hesitant about oh, having right, a yeah. center. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The problem I have is that the first two lines, I think almost everybody defines themselves as that. 
the food co-op probably says the same thing. To say that they engage more the local communities and government. I mean, just saying that it doesn't, the specificity of what we do needs to be in our mission statement. And uh, it could be that, that, it might be that we say by providing professionals, trained skills in, the, in media and uh, production values, just examples, the kind of things that we think are specific to this organization, not the food co-op, sure. not go the government, you know, not right. the church. Which is why I think we landed on production, training, and distribution, because that's all the, those are all also the measurable things that we turn in every year mm -hmm. to, okay. you know, those are, you know, they're not super, uh, you know, attractive. So, you so know, if ideas, somebody brings, so if somebody brings a project already done, you just put it online. Also. Right, so that would be a distribution, yeah. yeah. By the way, we media could. would be graphic, would be so we're gonna do graphic also. Is there a like you print could media? Have in here in this room. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Association Good. for the organization. Yeah. Because the, the along with bylaws, there's usually two documents, and usually the articles have something like a mission statement that define them. Through van, you mean, or, uh, no. or through Orca? Through I, Orca. I, I don't Whoever know. has the by the way, it's informed yeah. status mm -hmm. would have those documents. Right. We probably the should, actual yeah. like nonprofit application. Yeah, right. yeah and maybe we're not submission. necessarily ready to land on this, and and it would be helpful to look at the bylaws and the any kind of like founding documents that we might have. Yeah. Yeah. But they should define them. That may be full of outdated words. I know. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure in there that it does say, yeah, that, that yeah. we're a telecommunications organization, just like our mission statement says. Yeah, our mission statement has a lot of. I really, of, I like the phrase by providing media production, training, and distribution. I feel like that, because I don't think we want to get too into the weeds. I think that manages it really well. Yeah. As, so, a, as a mission, you really like you don't want to get into the specifics. specifics. And that's, and I mean, the, the issue is that, like, maybe who's the, the best at the grammar is that, you know, we're, we're saying media production, media training, and media distribution. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I think that by providing media production, training, and distribution, I think it captures all of that. Do we need a semicolon or something? Yeah. No. I think just commas is okay. the way to go. I think by providing media production, comma, Training and distribution. I don't even know if you need a comma after training. <laughs> well, actually, comma. you probably do. Comma do after that, that in yeah. order to get this. That is not training. Yeah, losing, losing right. the word services mm -hmm. somehow does get you. I think that works really well. You want to not, wor not worrying about I, yeah, what I exactly think. services, but the word yeah. distribution covers kind of generally. Yeah, yeah. that's a, one of our big three options. metrics. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the details happen in the right. strategic plan. And then that's when we can define, yeah. which I think is very important. We define what community media means to us because community Correct. media is not public media because public media, as we know, is something different than it's, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It is. And the real definition of access so TV different. is even different. It's, you know, developing Canada, it's totally different. Oh, it's true. I know when you get in, you yeah. can go down the Wikipedia hole on access All the way down media. There, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So. Right. so okay well that's All right i i like that i mean we don't and no pressure but yeah. you know this is this it's i think this would plan but not too much yeah this would be i think uh if we if we did say you know and, and like jen said we don't have to we can agree that we like this but we're not going to be using it until the whole strategic planning process right mm -hmm. is done. Do we want to capture it in the minutes or do we want to leave it as a conversation for now well i was going to say if it put it in like if we could say, because then that way we can give that to Nathan saying, this is our mission so that he can develop the retreat around it. If it's, if we're in agreement, I think. Any board member could move to accept that. And if it gets a second, I mean, we could move the ball downfield if we wanted to. Um, I have a question for strategic planning. Is, are there, is, does that look like, um, there are motions and say, that, that is not a Robert's rule of work. That's not a structure where we, we would move to accept the vision statement or mm -hmm. the, the maybe not to the end when it's like we, we yeah. accept the whole prop the strategic planning 
document, you know, that would probably, yeah. but it's, it wouldn't be run like a no, 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 in no. terms of uh, motions. And, and I think that's why he's calling it a retreat. No, this no, is a yeah. visioning retreat, yeah. like other. So I don't know if there'd be decisions made at a strategic planning retreat that would have to be brought to a board meeting and just kind of ratify, yeah. ratify, ratify. Yeah, at that's, some point, yeah. That's yeah. what Absolutely. I'm imagining. Yeah, yeah. just like yeah. kind of how we've been trying to be efficient and take it to you guys. Yeah. 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 And then, um, so this replaces a mission we already have, or potentially. We presently do not have a vision statement or a sort of values piece. Nathan is recommending we do so. Nathan or is, is kind he of agnostic? showing us, is he agnostic he's agnostic. About, he's is showing us the way that. and what other people do, and you know, and okay. kind of giving us an idea of what maybe, yeah. He's not pitching he's it. it's an hands, essential. Yeah piece that we're no, missing no, no, no. or anything like that. I think he's in a, in agreement with us that maybe the, the worldview, you know, if you look at rural Vermont, which has been, I think, it's some inspiration to us, they're very, it's very ambitious. It's like, you know, the, their worldview is to like have organic farms everywhere and, and hunger or something, right? right? And right. it's like, it's amazing, right? And like, and then the mission is also really broad about like doing everything they can to advocate and, and, yeah. and educate and, and that. And then they have values and they have goals and objectives. I think we're trying to say, okay, we're not, maybe we're not gonna change the world, you know? So, like, but we're gonna at least change, you know, yeah. the community by allowing mm -hmm. them to have access to what we, what we mm -hmm. can provide. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. I was gonna say, I'm gonna, add, I'm also though, I was like, this is our first strategic plan for Orca. So if we don't, have a mission. I feel like, you know, mm -hmm. just coming up with a strategic plan would be enough and that maybe, you know, if it's as we re like with strategic planning, it's always something that comes up every five years or what have you, that at that point, maybe a little bit further down, it could, I would be okay with like, okay, now we're ready for a vision because we've done this, right. we've thought in the strategic planning way and it's like, okay, now we're ready to say, I'm ready for a vision or public facing values. But for us to say, you know, let's if we can come up with a new mission statement and some solid goals and objectives and outcomes, yeah. that that Absolutely. would be for that first, you know, our first venue or entree into the strategic yeah. planning world would be okay. So I'm almost like, you know, I don't know if it's really super necessary to have a vision at this point or even post retreat that if we were, you know, and if our time is limited and our, our thinking capacity is like yeah. kind of limited in that, we're trying to get all this stuff done in this retreat that if we came out with like no vision, I would be like, I'm willing to say maybe in a few years, that's something we could mm -hmm. embark on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does Nathan run this thing? It's, it's uh, three hours. Are they with Nathan or yeah, with you guys? With Nathan. Anna. We'll be there too. I'd rather run with you guys, but. <laughs> well, I think some of paying someone is to have outside set of eyes and someone who's, mm -hmm. who knows how to run. Yeah, I, run yeah, yeah. I think it's never seen in action, so it's I nice guess. Nice facilitator. Yeah. yeah. It's very good to have a facilitator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I definitely like this idea of setting things up to have like um, measurable and yeah. goals and targets and stuff that we can hit. I, if having yeah. values helps do that, then okay, fine, you know, but it's not pragmatic. I'm not super concerned about it personally. Yeah, but the good thing about having things like this is that you, when you have a problem, you could always go back to that mm -hmm. also. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that could answer, like, we've had issues in the past about charging services and other things where we yeah, don't know. Our, right, right. And having this, we would, it would be, it's clear cut, yeah. yes or no. Absolutely. I like that. I At some point, I like, yeah. not work on this now, but we need to have this at some point so that we could always come back to this and say, how does this, what they're asking us to do fit within our mission? Does yeah. it mm -hmm. fall into this Yeah, at absolutely. that level? Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. And, and, and it's going to inform yeah. everything else when we absolutely. revisit yeah. policies and procedures. And yeah. Great. So I, I think, so did we document that? And I, I just wrote it yeah. down here. Again. I wrote down the, what I feel like is the, the strongest mission statement that's come out of this conversation, which is, Orca Media facilitates engagement in local communities and government by providing media production, training, and distribution. I think that hits a really nice balance between the trend towards the big, broad statement that we see in mission statements these days, mm -hmm. but also bringing it down to actual media production, training, and distribution, which I think are your really key focus points here. 
um, but it doesn't get into the weeds. It doesn't get into the details and it doesn't use yeah. language that's going to immediately be outdated in a couple of years. Yeah. So I like that, but I, I don't like, I'm trying to read the room and see if people feel like they're ready to vote on it or if this yeah. is more just a capture. I, I think, I think we should just let it percolate. In. Okay. Yeah. And, and it sounds like letting that, what we have now roll into the yeah, yeah the that's fine. And, yeah, okay yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's great i think this is great but i think you should just let it so i'll note it as a draft statement yeah. Yeah. but i really want to capture that language because i think yeah, it sounds yeah, really yeah, good great. Mm -hmm. And we do have just in case so someone knows. comes in with a with an eraser. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You never know. We have yeah. another document that's yeah. We also should look at what we've done. And each one of us say, how does what we've done, all of what we've done, fit into this statement? Sure. Because we now have the record of what we really do yeah, and absolutely. have done. And is there some things that we've done that we don't do anymore? Or there are some new things that we've added to what was done in the old days. Uh, and how they both fit into that statement, besides going into the vision in the future. So that, that's an exercise that maybe Nathan could give us yeah. five minutes on. No, I think that's that's a great idea. I mean, because it's like a lot of us have more historical knowledge of the organization, and I think that you know, just from what I know, is that by reading this, it does capture, I think, even in a more coherent way. This is what we're already doing and have been doing for yeah. the last 10 years. So, and it also embraces what we, our mission, that we're a mission driven organization that we, you know, we want to do more of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to pick a Tuesday and a Thursday in March. We got the Tuesday, so 28th, right? Yeah, we, yep. we got it four to seven. And I, I have a draft email I'm going to send to Elevate to remind. <laughs> we massage, massage the mission. So, yeah. we, we, did you guys hope to accomplish anything more under agenda item six, strategic planning update? Um, oh, that's it. Oh, about the values. I think that was the other bit of whether we can use that just as an internal rudder versus a public facing like list out of values. And also, um, if you want to um, think about this in terms of the values would determine the lens of how we would do our goals and objectives. And so if the values that I think we all kind of shared with you in our circles, if there's any changes to those values, or I mean, I don't know how much time was spent. I know in my circle, we kind of just looked at it, but not really like mm -hmm. pondered it. But if those values need to be adjusted or if under, you know, you disagree with any of those values as an internal rudder to, like decide our goals and outcomes that that was another thing that we would be giving to Nathan as as, as prep for his retreat of yes we looked at the values and this is this is where we're feeling that our values are does that make sense so um is that a little homework you just gave I was going to say yeah if, if you know I, we're going to relay this but if if you could come back as you're cogitating over the mission and you can also cogitate over the values that we have put out there to say if that is fitting with what you know of ORCA and the mission. Sounds good. Okay, yeah, we'll review those. So I guess I think this was a motion to accept the strategic planning update makes sense. It's its own agenda item. Does that make sense to just move to accept? Mm -hmm. Anyone want to so we'll move? move to accept the strategic <clears throat> planning update? I'll second it. We got Chad followed by Carlos. Uh, motion to accept strategic planning update. Please indicate by saying aye. Aye. And opposed. Yeah. Is unanimous. And um, we're heading into business old and new. So I don't know which you'd be. I don't know. You'd be both? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is um, my last board meeting. I think it's time to hand the reins over to somebody uh, else. And um, I just want to say it's been a, a pleasure and a privilege to serve on the board. And um, I hope to continue working with Orca as a camera operator and with Green Mountain Film Festival a little bit. I, I started 
working with Orca, I I learned how I did the camera operator training a long, long time ago. And then I spent a number of years producing my own videos and films. Um, and um, probably from 2000 to 2015, 16, and then 2017, I started working as a camera operator. So, you know, I feel very deeply connected to Orca. It means a lot to me. And um, I want it to continue to prosper and grow in great ways. So thanks for the opportunity. And, uh, you know, I'll see you. <laughs> that was yeah. that was very beautiful. And we we, have, I wish you could do it for the camera because that uh, would have been good, good documentation. Well, we got uh, it. Well, yeah. well, hold on a second. And we also <laughs> have so stupid service. You do right. That's kind of the real. We brought a cake. Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you for everything. We'll send it out to you. Dig in and in honor of Sue's chocolate and deliciousness. So, how yeah. long were you thank on you the so board, much. Sue? Um, I think I got on in uh, 2016, uh, about there. Oh, wow. Thereabouts. Wow. So, it's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you That's think you'll nice. keep on camera operating on occasion? Yeah. 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 You know, once a week, yeah. <laughs> I seem to do it. That's great. And it's fun. You know, I, I really like the engagement with, yeah. you know, the people that you're filming and and the people here. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's a great thing. Okay. So we are, we are going to have you go through an exit interview, but we like to pump stuff out of you. <laughs> so if you want to write anything like an exit interview, or yes. I don't know if staff uh -huh. might, might tap you on the shoulder. On the phone, you wouldn't even have to come in, or maybe you're in picking up a camera, anyways. But yeah, there well, may I mean, be a brain picking afterwards. I'll be here tomorrow morning. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we, we'll connect with you. And that would and be good. Talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 what you see is our I mean, strengths I have some institutional memory. Mm. That, that's about we did write some I, questions there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> what I can contribute at this point. Cool. Yeah. Thank you, Sue. And I'll put this right on my refrigerator. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and don't, don't and forget it. Staying in the loop. It's good for it. Good yeah. cake, too. So dig in. Yeah, so that's that's exciting. We're happy to to you know to honor your service. So. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. Yeah. Uh other business. Is that Rachel? Yeah, that's in a um Rachel and I talked, and she is feeling as though she um, won't be able to meet the responsibilities, especially as we head into the strategic planning, uh, kind of ramping up all in circles. Um, I think the model will ask a little bit more, not a crazy amount of, from the board, but she's had trouble just getting regular board meetings and, and it's just kind of done an honest assessment. But mm -hmm. it's it's not in a kind of an obvious completion place, but that conversation is, is kind of, I'm just asking staff to follow up with her and see if it's, you know, she would like to continue in some capacity. Is this a hiatus or is she in reserve as a potential board member later? But um, she's, oh, she remains a huge fan and uh, is just kind of just taking her pulse and her, um, her position got a lot big. I think they kind of maybe folded two jobs into her job, that kind of thing. So um, we, could, we could keep her as a consultant to the board. That's I, great. I mean, yeah. Uh, so if, if that point mind here. kind of different getting the points. final definition yeah. out of that. Sure. But um, if she got some clarity there. And I don't know, if, Sue, your process was months. Like, well, how did how did you come to this conclusion? I do not mind me putting on the spot a little bit. Um, well, it's a, a, a combination of things, you know, I think that there, there needs to be new um, blood and, and I'm getting older and feeling older and not wanting to go to night meetings. Yeah. yeah. So that's another yeah. thing. Um, 
those are basically the two defining factors. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. think Rachel doesn't have much time available. That's that's it. Time mm -hmm. is such a crunch. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And yeah, what that, about my pillow? And I was just thinking. I think yeah. pro. It's the evening meetings are prohibitive. I think mm -hmm. for him as well. Um, so oh. that is. Yeah. I can't imagine a day meeting, but um, it, it is um, a, a responsibility, and the only pay is the pizza and the satisfaction. So um, it just reminds all of us thank you, thank you, one and all, for putting the time in. Yeah. So, for yeah. new members, are we like if we do we need to? get new members or are we at a quorum number the bylaws call for um room for nine and at least seven and i think if i think with rachel becoming official by i mean maybe the next april meeting is she can make it and there's cake for her like I, that just you know it, it needs a sense of completion. i think yeah i don't know about that <laughs> yeah yeah but, um, you, you know we but do that, would, that would bring us to seven so it would be we would be sitting on our minimum and it, and it, i think it's part of strategic planning is you know um yeah. getting yeah, getting the board mm -hmm. um you know maybe back up to nine but i like odd numbers mm -hmm. it's a little tricky to sit on but it's mm -hmm. well they're tiebreakers you yes know, yeah. exactly mm -hmm. um so that is there other new and or old business so i did hear that at the state house i don't know if it's new business that that there is going to be a push i hung out there last week for the um the i forget what they called it the creative network uh, mm -hmm. update to the legislators and stuff like that shook hands with people and talked about filmmaking and Bored people probably, but ah, <laughs> I did hear yeah, yeah. <laughs> that there is going to be an uh, emphasis from from some people. Um, I, I can't divulge too much that in in um, a focus in that the communities are going to have resources that people will be able to tap into for um, arts practitioners and media practitioners, and so that's going to become a focus. Um, hmm some like the creative network arts council sort of area mm -hmm. maybe looking at that soon so, yeah. nice well, thanks, exactly thanks for there. keeping an ear on that as it mm -hmm. develops would, would it make any sense for us sometime to do something like uh, when we have a board meeting and then finish this work to invite somebody like um, Katie Trouts to come in and talk to her about our relationship with the city itself and the, our, and the live Montpelier Live Project. She's done sure. such amazing yeah. stuff as a community builder with music and now with Montpelier Alive. Did she take over as the, the yeah. executive director? Yeah, she's okay. taking over. So it just seems like she's a key person that we would want to be connected to and, mm -hmm. uh, and, and a lot of what she might do could be benefited could benefit our being involved in this either camera operators or uh, just supporters of what she's trying to do. Absolutely. And I think that they would appreciate that. And there's also she is is making a push toward um, uh, expanding what Montpelier Live, the appeal to it. So there's oh, not cool. exactly just shop owning businesses, getting more benefits for people who do businesses that are um, you know, not retail stores in mm -hmm. downtown, but all of the business um, owners and stuff. Yeah, or restaurants, which is primarily the focus, all of their events, all everything, all the benefits really benefit the, the retail stores. Mm -hmm. um, and so it would definitely be worth reaching out and, and figuring out how, a yeah, a relationship, because I, I can see that. That's an excellent she point. might be interested in, in uh, doing a show every week hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I mean because she's a very community building person oh yeah 
you know, a newsletter she sends out, like a yeah, she bigger just, newsletter. Yeah. Like she's running her own music festival. It's really quite yeah. remarkable what she does. Yeah. So she Besides could, playing the health In the newsletter, link to, you know, Orca Highlight of the Week or whatever, something like that. So, that would be awesome. It would be yeah. cool to connect with her. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, any more new business? To accept a movement to adjourn. 806. All right. Well, I move. <laughs> <Interesting>. <laughs>